Okay, now we're going to start talking about confidence intervals. And confidence interval gives us a likely range of values, like before when we were doing the mean plus or minus two standard deviations when we were getting a likely interval. So here we have a survey of 1,000 adults conducted in January 2013. Stated 44% say it's too hard to adopt a child in the U.S. The survey goes on to say that the margin of sampling error is plus or minus three percentage points with 95% level of confidence. So what is the relevant sample statistic? We're talking about percentage. So that would be p hat equals zero point four four. So what population parameter are we estimating? We're estimating p, which is the proportion of all American adults. who say it is too hard to adopt a child in the U.S. So use the margin of error to give a confidence interval for the estimate well, margin of error is plus or minus three percentage points. So it would be 0 0.44 plus or minus 0 0.03. That gives an interval from 0 0.41 to 0 0.47. So is 0 0.42 a plausible value? 0 0.42 lies within the interval. So it is a plausible value. What about 0 0.50? 0 0.50 lies outside. the interval, so it is not a plausible value. Now, using a sample of 4,079 inventory plots, Scientists give a 95% confidence interval of 9,600 to 13,600 tons for the mean amount of carbon per square kilometer in tropical forests. Clearly interpret the meaning of this confidence interval. Whenever we interpret a confidence interval, we use a template. We say we are whatever the percentage confident that we repeat the problem is between the two values. So we are 95% confident that 
a mean amount of carbon per square kilometer in tropical forests is between 9,600 and 13,600 tons. So we have three parts to this. First part is the level of confidence. Second part is the restatement of the problem. Third part is the confidence interval.